There we go. All right. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. Ba -da -ba. All right. Can you copy all the code? Yes, let me just um here. First I need to get out. Okay, you all probably already know this by now, but we're on Replit as always. I'm going to pick the link in chat. Where is chat? What in the world? Huh. I can't use chat. Okay, there we go. Um, link in chat as always. And we're gonna go down here to my repos. If you weren't here last class, you can go ahead and create a new replet. Um, and I'll show you what to do. But for now, to anyone else, you can go to my repos. Go down here, you should see snake or basic snake or snake three, whatever you named it. And here is your code. To anyone not here last time or didn't watch the video, I'll paste the code in chat if I can. Here's the HTML. T-shirt. Have yep. you read my uh, homework in Facebook yet? Um, I went through a bunch of them. I'm not entirely sure I did yours. Um, I know I didn't respond to all of them, but I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone did. Everyone who sent their uh, homework as of two days ago, you, all your code's good. All right. All right, so go ahead and type ready in chat if you're ready to code right now. You have your code ready to code. I'm ready. I got my circles blue. I'm right. ready to. I'm ready. All right, a lot of people joining right now. Um, all right, real quick to everyone who joined, Replit, as always. Um, I have both the code that we currently have and the link to Replit in chat. Go here to my repl with it. Should be your old project right here. Should be like snake or something. Uh, I copied your code, but there's nothing in the screen. Um, go ahead. Uh, did you copy the HTML code as well as uh, the JavaScript? Yeah. Hmm. Um, go ahead and paste it in chat. Might want to try running it as well, just in case. Um, put a port also in your HTML. Why is, does oh. it say snake 1000? Um, that is the man's. Um, oh, put to four, I know what's wrong. Down here, the very last line needs a semicolon. It doesn't have one. That the player function needs a semicolon at the very end after the right curly brace. That's our put to four, by the way. 
All right. And Lumamp says this is wrong. Um, hmm. All look correct. Try. Uh, try that in a second. Oh, never mind. That is it. I'm not sure. Hmm. All right. I will get to that in a moment. All right. Let's go ahead. Um, so, right now, all we can do is move around. That is fine for now. Um, one thing, let me do a quick poll in chat. Should we make food pellets that you can eat first or make it so that we have a looping wall? So when you go out one side, you come back through on another side. The food. Children. Food. 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 All right. Here, a lot of people say food. I hope All we right. make them both. Yeah, hopefully we can make them both. So yeah, I see a lot of people saying food. So let's go ahead, implement that first. And we'll probably have time for both, but I just wanna make sure we get the more fun one done first. All right. And put four and you put the semicolon at the very last line. Look at my screen all the way down here. Line th for me, it's line 34. Um, there's a right curly brace, put uh, it right after What that. about the like going through the edge thing coming on at the other side? Um, we'll hopefully get to that, um, but I want to make sure- I already did in. that. I already did that. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people already did if it, you, so- um, If you go good. all the way past 400, you go back to zero. That's good. All right. Yes. Yep. Can you check out mine? Is it right? All right. Um, I might have a little trouble because, oh, there we go. That's good. All right. Good job. Um, so. I'm seeing some kind of new workspace design thing. Oh. Um, it's a pop-up. Oh yeah, go ahead and just like it. Click OK and like go through this little like mm -hmm. thing, click X. See you. Yeah, okay. roughly has some kind of update. There's now the new workspace. So now I know that. I cannot see anything. It's just a screen. All right. Um, let's go ahead here. And we shall begin. First of all. Let's start by making some new variables here for food. Make some new lines after the let X and let Y. So outside the draw and set up functions, outside any function, right after the let Y, we're gonna say let space food, F-O-O-D, and then capital X, shift and X, food, capital X, Um, equals, and then we'll say 200, semicolon. Make a new line and say, let food, capital Y, equals 100, semicolon. Basically the same thing as over here, just um, different names for the variables.
Done. Done with the new variables. All right. Oh, and. Teacher, right. can you please copy that? All right. All right. Um, all right, Ka'al looks good. Um, just so you know, Ka'al, those um, variables is food and then the lowercase x, um, which is fine. Just make sure you keep doing that throughout the rest of your code. All right. Um, okay, a lot of people saying stuff here. Okay. Uh, oh, wow, <laughs> that's cool. All right, that, um, two, what was that, Kutaporn, or Pawan. Um, uh, it's working on only Kanisha again, right? All right, um, okay. Let's go ahead now and make the actual food function. Um, you get let food X, let food Y, We'll go ahead here, make a couple of new lines after draw. Make sure to make this function outside of the draw function. So outside of any of these um, curly braces, we're gonna write let, L-E-T, equal sign, food, F-O-O-D. Oh, my mistake is let space food, no equal sign. There we go, let space food equals function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, -N, function, left parenthesis, outside parenthesis, left curly brace, enter. And make sure um, at the right curly brace, at the end of the food function, you see right here, um, you need to add a semicolon. If you don't have a semicolon, it would not work. Oh, and to anyone who wasn't here last class, I noticed someone was. Um, basically, the code right now is just a basic movement script. Um, we have two functions here, move and player. Player is just an ellipse, and move is just a uh, up for W or for the up arrow, you move up, that kind of thing. Uh, can I ask some question? Yeah. Uh, this, is this code, uh, right, this replet work on Levenum? Levenum? What is that? Levenum version of computer. Huh. Um, I would assume so. I, I'm, I, I'm not sure. Windows 7. Oh, Windows. Um, yeah. I know it works on win Windows. Um, I'm not sure for anything else. I'm sure it does work. Um, okay, Replit try. should work on most things. I can't guarantee that works on everything except a Mac because that's what I'm using it on. Um, but I'm sure it works on most things. I, I used Replit on a window PC before and it actually, that's what I use for it to make do my homework. All right. Yeah, I'm sure working Windows. All right. Let food equals function here. And for what we want the food to do, well, first let's say what the food is. The food is a um a fill, F-I-L-L, -L, left parenthesis. And let's make it red, like an apple is. So two five five, comma space zero, comma space zero semicolon at the end, make sure to have the semicolon. This just makes it red.
make a new line here and do a ellipse, E-L-L-I-P-S-E. -E. Make sure to put your ellipse inside the food function. Ellipse, left parenthesis. And for our X and Y, well, we, we already have an X and Y up here. We can use um, food, capital X. So inside the parentheses for the ellipse, we do F-O-O-D, capital X, comma space, food, capital Y. And then we'll do comma space 20, comma space 20, semicolon at the end. Teacher? Yep. Why is mine like this? Like, wait, uh, maybe I'll just send the link. All right, that works. When when I type net is not it, it doesn't have like a blue one and yeah when I type curry place it it's just like only one of the curry huh. place. Um, I would bet you might be on the wrong file, but I'll if you send me the link, I'll check. All right, there uh, we go. Actually, what you do did. you mean? Um, let me see here. Um, yeah, you are on your index of HTML, Poon. Um, you have unfortunately um, put stuff on the wrong side. You're, you also have code on your script.js, but it's the old code, but you are writing code on the index of HTML. Oh. Um, here, I can actually, yeah. I would suggest um, copy what you have in your index, um, deleting what you have in your script.js, um, replacing what you have in your index into your script, and then um, I can send you what you should have in your index. Oh, okay. Teacher, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, teacher, sorry, I'm late. Uh, can you send me your? Can you send me your project? Yes. Thank in you. fact, I'll send it for someone else, anyways. Here is the HTML. Thank you. And here is the JavaScript. Thank you, teacher. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on in chat. <laughs> Bindi uh, hunting season, okay. <laughs> um, all right, so. We have a food function. Um, now we need to call it to make sure, you know, it will actually be drawn. Let's go ahead after when we call our move function here in the draw function, make a new line, make sure it's inside the draw function. So before there's a right curly brace, make a couple of new lines here, and then write food, F-O-D, Left parenthesis, semicolon, semicolon at the end. That way we actually call our food function. And now if I run it, I have, oh, actually I actually have two red dots. Um, one I can move, one doesn't move. Um, and nothing happens yet. We will write stuff to happen when I move over in the food. Uh, T-shell, so what I you just I already put in the fill for my ball. I don't have to worry about my dot turning red. All right. Um, uh, T-shell? Yep. What do you just wrote? Um, I wrote food, F-O-D, inside the draw function here. Oh. Food, and then left parenthesis, semicolon at the end. I am calling the food function from down here. I think it's moving too fast. All right. Um, if you want, you can go ahead down here. We have um, the number four in each of these if statements. Each of these control like going up, going down. Um, you can move into like three or two. I know uh, for snake, you are supposed to go pretty fast. Um, but yeah, it might be too fast. Can you please go up? Oh, yeah. Food. And I will say, um, one nice thing about 
um, having things in the functions is that if someone else were to look at your code, right? They would come here, they would see, okay, set up some variables and then, oh, player, move and food. And now they would know exactly what each of your bits of code do. Um, yeah, they know, okay, move, move, left, make it move. Teacher, I did it. Good job. All right, now let's go down real quick to player because I noticed that our player right now is still red um, because here in the food, we make it red and then down here, we don't have another ellipse to counteract that color. And so it kind of bleed through. So let's go ahead in the player here, make a new line right before the ellipse and do fill. I already fill. made the fill part. I turned it All right. blue. Good job. Oh, like actually blue, blue is a good color. Blue, uh, blue, blue, like light blue cyan, like dark cyan. All right. So we'll go 100, comma space 255, comma space 100. A semicolon at the end. That should be a nice little blue. That's a green, shoot. Well, I mean, that's not bad, right? A snake's green. We'll go with that. <laughs> but you can make it whatever color you want. Is it you know what? okay we'll make it... if your uh, food is smaller than the player? Um, that's okay, yeah. Um, but uh, having things be in this um, proportions is, will, will be easier for this class. Otherwise, you're going to have to change some of the measurements, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, first of all, though, this fill, I'm actually gonna do it 100, 100, 255. That way it's actually blue. Here, that's purple. Okay, that's fine. We have a purple snake. I want to be blue. <laughs> All right. Now, let's go ahead and make, let me make sure I don't have anyone who needs help here. Ka'al, code looks good. Um, Ka'al, I noticed your ellipse um, doesn't have the sizing here. You, for your food, it should be, um, with it. Yeah, you need to add a 20 comma 20 after your food y comma. Oh, no. uh, Tisha, can you almost can, ends, can, you can. Tisha, can you copy the code that one you just read? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, when the class ends, can you please uh copy all the code so yeah. I can copy? Because my computer looks like it's not really working. I'll fix mm -hmm. it. Ah, uh, Tisha, how can I not copy? Um, I'm not sure. I M Zoom might be having a problem right now. Um, you might need to like hit Control C a few times. That might help. Uh, I'll um, try. I'll, I'll also uh, post my link on my rep my replit link on Facebook after this. So if you need it, you can get it there. All right. Oh. Let's go ahead here. Um, let's make the food do something. Make a couple of new lines inside the food function this time, right here. Um, we'll start by making some boundaries. We'll do if left parenthesis, um, and we'll say, um, wait, shoot, I, I lose it. I can remember it. Okay, if X plus 10, X plus 10. We know X it will always be where the player is. Um, so X plus 10, oh, oh yeah. yes. X plus 10 should be the right side of our player because we know our player is 20 pixels wide for an ellipse X right in the center of the pixel of the X. circle. So X plus 10 is the right side of our player. <laughs> If left parenthesis x plus 10 is greater than food x, so greater than sign food capital X, food x minus 10, 
So if the right side of our player is greater than the left side of our food, which means they have touched. You sure why is my if uh, has a red, red line um, under if? That should be fine. Might might be fine right now. I'm not. You might have gotten something wrong. Um, but I will check in a moment. If uh, go ahead and write the best you can, and then I'll help people out. Um, so because we're not done just yet, we need to do one more thing here, or actually three more things. Um, ampersand ampersand after the food x minus ten ampersand ampersand space x minus ten is less than food x plus 10. This part means if the right side of our snake is less than, wait no, sorry, if the left side of our snake is less than the right side of our food. So if we touch our food, we get it. 10, okay, I finish. All right, and we need to do the exact same thing again, but for y as well. So let's do some more here. We do another ampersand ampersand base y plus 10 is greater than food y minus 10. So the exact same thing as up here but just with y instead. Let me zoom in a bit, that'd be helpful. Uh, can, can you please copy that code because I kind of confusing with the upper sense. All right, uh, I will when it's done, because actually not done yet, we do one more thing. Just making sure everyone is, has time to write it down. All right, the final thing would be two more ampersands and y minus 10 is less than food y plus 10. And by the way, ampersand is um, shift and seven. It is the and sign. All right, that is the code. We can now make a left clip brace at the end, like enter. And we have our if statement. And that is just like we've done before. It is a boundary box. It says um, if the player is touching the food. All right, go ahead. Um, right now, nothing should change. Um, in fact, if nothing changed, you did it correctly. And give me a done in chat when you are done. Done. Good job. Um, Taya, class is until um, about another three minutes or 28 minutes. I was going to say 9.30, but um, that does not translate to your time. Teacher, I, I kind of forgot where, where, how do I change the color for the, the background grass? I, I found a I found a better green. I copied the RGB um, code and yeah. Background. Yeah, it's up here in the draw function. And um, you use okay. background, B C K G R O U N D. Oh, thank you. Welcome. T shirt, why is okay. my um why is my work like it says only hello world and it's just only white? Um 
I'll go ahead, give me one moment and then um, we can do uh, screen sharing or go ahead, put your code in chat, might be a little quicker. Here, I put the link. All right. Oh, that is because um, you, wait. So for Poon, um, it seems maybe the link hasn't updated if possible, but it seems like your index is still your old JavaScript code, or maybe still writing in your JavaScript code. I believe the link might have just not updated though. So um, if you can, if you copy and paste your code, it might be easier. Or I'll, I'll just do sh uh, screen share. I'll stop my share, and anyone who needs help, share your screen. Tisha, can you post the, the, can you copy the code in the index HTML, please? All right, I can do. Sorry, I've lost my code in one moment. Um, is this? No, is this, okay. Um, what does the red thing do? The red thingy do? The red thingy? Um, oh the yeah. That is gonna be food. Um, in fact, we would do that in a moment. And it seems that um, no we had any troubles. So I'll go ahead and continue here. Um, so I was playing snake and the uh, apples were, they, they were apples, the food was yeah. apples. Yeah, uh, unfortunately right now we don't have a great graphic. Um, the little circle is an apple. If anyone tells you otherwise, they are wrong. Um, but eventually we might be able to get some better graphics. But for it now, like, um, it looks like one giant cherry. In, in like the game, I will say, like one giant cherry. We have a much better graphic than the original Snake game. So we do have that over the original Snake game because the original Snake game didn't have color. Um, so go ahead here inside I the big the statement. colorful Google Snake game. Yeah. It has a blue circle and a red apple. That yeah, that one has um, much better graphics. Okay, so inside the if statement, we're gonna write um, food x equals sign. And our goal will be that once we touch the food, it will now move to a random other location. We have to keep grabbing it and it'll keep going to a different spot. Kind of like a laser pointer for cats, you know, you keep moving to different spots. That's how the food in snake work. So yeah, food x equals, and we're actually gonna be pretty easy here. We're gonna say capital M, A T H, math. Make sure to have a capital M in a math uh, dot or point period, whatever dot random, R A N D O M math.random, go ahead and give that a left uh, parenthesis. You're basically calling it. Math.random is a function built into JavaScript. And you can use it to, if you call it, it would generate a random number. More importantly, it generates a random number between zero and one, which would be like 0 0.9925. Um, so we can make that into numbers we want. The numbers we want are numbers from one to 400 because our canvas is 400 pixels wide. So do math.random, left curly brace. Outside the curly braces, we're gonna write asterisk or for multiplication or multiply times. Um, do asterisk, that shift and eight, and then 400 and add a semicolon at the end.
and that is how to create a random number from one it's to four hundred in JavaScript. Um, I will get to that in one moment. First, though, uh, I do want to finish queen, it. Uh, did you uh, queen why the yep. apple is bouncing? Um, that sounds correct. If the apple is moving away, from, like uh, to a random location, once you touch it, that should be correct. Um, but it was bouncing all the time. If I already use. Um. Here, let me show you real quick. It should be doing something like this. Um, okay. Where, there we go. It keeps moving, if you see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, mm -hmm. when my, um, when my blue dot touches the red one, uh, it freezes the entire run program. Oh, okay. That means you have something wrong in your um, this line here, food x equals math.random. I will help you in one moment because real quick, mm -hmm. before I get to um, any more questions, I want to add one more line here, make a new line. Mm -hmm. Either one to say, um, we do the yeah. exact same thing before food y. That way it moves to a random location across the entire screen. Mm -hmm. We say food, F-O-O-D, capital Y, space yep. equal sign, space math, make sure you do capital M there, dot random, R-A-N-D-O-M, left parenthesis, outside parenthesis, uh, star, or shift and eight, 400, and semicolon. And now if I run it, if you did it correctly, um, you should be able to touch the ball and it will go to a random spot. There we go mine and every time you touch it it will go to a random spot um teacher yep. what if it can still crashes you, can you please uh copy all the code yep what so that i can, I can to fix me? it if it's wrong or right um, um look Go it ahead and paste your code in chat real quick. I can probably help you from there. Oh, it's right. Okay. Good job. Can please can you look at my my such a broken? All right. Oh wow, it is. <laughs> Whoa. What are you doing? Okay, one second. Um wow. I, okay. I, <laughs> I touched the red one and it just teleport to that uh, is it. Yeah, it just teleports to right and left and then it just teleport to the uh it teleports to the thingy, the center again. Okay, one second. <laughs> I'm going to um pin when Mine is always teleporting. Um, huh. Wait, T-shirt. Okay. T-shirt. Why is Whenever my it, uh, my it red teleports. one is like it it's already like gone when I play like many times. Okay. Um, it always maybe teleports one moment. when okay. I touch it. Oh, okay. This is a cool thing. Um, but on line 43, um, you see at the very end there, you have a semicolon at the end of like the if statement part. Oh, sorry, not, 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 sorry line 20, 23. Um, you have a semicolon in that line near the very end. Um, take out that semicolon. That should fix it. Um, I've never known that would happen, but that is very interesting that that happens. Um, why? Why is like only teleport like two times and it just like went away? All right. Um, go ahead and share your screen. In fact, anyone who needs any help can share their screen at this time. Here, like this. Can I have it? Oh. Uh, Poon. Uh, Poon, go ahead and scroll it down for me. Wait, like, like this? Uh, it just like, wait, 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 I can't. I, uh, yeah, it just like teleports, but sometimes it just oh, like, yeah, like um, this. Yes. That's because um, currently your uh, canvas is too big for your screen. 
if you, you see that arrow mm -hmm. on like the top mm -hmm. right, um, mm -hmm. you see you have a little pencil, you have a little wrench, mm -hmm. and then you have an arrow. If you click that arrow, mm -hmm. you can get a bigger screen mm -hmm. to show it on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yeah, it'll load in a moment. You have way too many tabs open, by the way. Like, I'm the guy who has a lot of tabs open. That's a lot of tabs open. Yo, that is too much tabs. Learn to close them, bruh. All right, Bindi. Okay. Um, That looks good. Could you run it? Oh yeah, here's the new Bindi games coming out. That's fun. Oh, oh yeah. Um, that probably has the same problem. Yeah, there you go. You just need to like move it around. Yeah, or you can do the little arrow on the top right. Uh. All right. Why you just said I have a my problem? T-shirt. Huh. Oh yeah. Okay, I see. Um, on line twenty six and twenty seven, you have a capital M on math instead of a. Sorry, you have a lowercase M instead of a capital M. It should be a capital M on a math. That should be the problem. Interestingly, the reason why that happens is because um, JavaScript doesn't look at your code unless it it's actually runs it. So, the code in your if statement is an error, right? So only when the if statement gets run or when you, you touch the food does that get run. And then JavaScript says, oh no, this code is broken. Don't run. That's why you suddenly freeze. Okay, um, anyone else? It's not running. Um, nothing is happening when I click it. When All right, go ahead and oh, share gosh. screen. T-shirt. Yep. Um, when when I click the arrow thing, it says my connection is not private. Huh. Um. Um. Like I'm not this? sure. Like that. Oh yeah, I guess um your internet just suck. Uh you have to go to advance, go to advance. Click advance. Okay. Go to advance and advance. and any button that usually means I don't give a I don't give a crap about. It. Just go yeah. just that go part to, to do with the fact button. that like it's technically here. Go ahead and close it and try again would be one thing. Um, close the up, other thing close. might be to uh Close eighty percent of your tap and and try again. If it still doesn't work, two things. First, Replit hacks people. Second, your internet sucks. Third, a glitch. So, uh, but if you don't, if you just want to play Snake, click click the button that says Advance. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, long no, code Advance. Too long code to uh to Close all advance your tabs, up. please. Yeah, I think don't click advance for now. Um, I'm annoyed of that tab. But why are there so God, many advanced, tabs? You can actually, you can actually see it. Um, That's from not the nice thing. to talk a kid like that. Can't you reload uh, your screen? Yeah, refreshing it might work. Um, maybe talk to your parents before you do, do the advance. My computer doesn't let me um, share. Like, My computer doesn't let me share. I don't understand how share. you open this many tabs. This Everybody, let it teach your talk. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I heard someone say your computer computer doesn't share. You can go ahead and paste your code in chat. Um, and yeah, there's a way to go around that, like, is in a private connection thing because um, I guess technically it's not a private connection. I feel like it should be. Um, yeah, mine private connection. Maybe don't click advanced for now. Um, might want to try like reloading Replit or something. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I will say, if I share my screen here, Tisha, I just uh like close the the tabs that I don't need already. All right. 
Um, the other way, instead of doing the new tab, you can just like make like minus a few times. All right, uh, sorry, it's control and then the, the minus sign or however way you can zoom out so that you can see the entire screen. Like yeah, that. I think never mind. All right. All right. Let me see here. Yeah, but I can still play it. All right, person whose um, name with a bunch of question marks. Um, I, I putting can't, ten thousand on your I math. I can't paste will... it in chat either. Huh. Um. You might have to send me on Facebook then. I'm not sure any other way, unfortunately. Um, and I'll make sure you get to it very soon. I promise. Um, and to the person whose name is a question mark, putting your math at random at 10,000 would mean it the moment you hit it, it will just go like way into um, a random place because our can is only 400, right? So if you put a higher number, it would just kind of disappear. All right. Um, now, let me think here. Do we, we don't have 10 minutes left? I would say this is a fine place to kind of leave off here. Let's go ahead and do one more thing before we leave. Um, Please there is add more the body. The body? Oh, the body. Um, yeah, the it's body. a crucial. Yes. Um, I was going to leave the body to later, actually, just because the body is going to be the hardest part. That's going to be a whole thing. Um, this is a main part of the, the body can be very tough. For now, let's go ahead, do a um, important part of the body, which is the actual score. Um, let's go ahead here. I know it's a couple of hands raised. Um, I have to answer that in a moment because I do want to get this part done. Let's go ahead here. Make a new variable after the select food y. We'll go let and then score s c o r e equals zero. Semicolon. Make a new variable there. And then down here in food, make a new line inside the if statement. Make sure to put it inside the if statement. Uh, I'll make a new line here. So that was just before the food X. And I'll say score, S-E-O-R-E, plus, plus, semicolon. And now whenever we get a piece of food, the score goes up. Sure. Yep. Um, I want to make sure that like it is right. Can you like copy the code? Yes. Um, also in score, so we got a variable here. We got a little incrementer for the variable. And then in our draw function, I mean, I could put this in a whole function, but there's no real need for that. I'll go ahead and make a no line inside a draw function and say text C E X T left parenthesis and do um thing um say score. Put S C O R E in there. Uh, would this work? Yeah, score. Yeah, say score and then plus sign and then um, single quotation mark right here. That should make it into a string, just in case. And then we can do comma space 
20 comma space 20, a semicolon at the end. And now if you click run, you have a score of zero, you see right up here on the top left. If we eat it, we get a score of one. And the more we eat, we keep increasing our score. Uh, wait, what? Um, it's just a variable for a score. Down here, we increment score inside our if statement. We do score plus plus, semicolon at the end. And then for text, we say T-E-X-T. And then for the first part, we need to put a string, right? That's how text works. So we'll say score and then plus and empty quotation marks. Um, we do this because by doing it, JavaScript forces score, which is a number, into being text or a string. Um, this might work without it, but let me double check. Oh yeah. Okay, that works too. Yeah, you, you need to put in score, that's fine. Text score, and then the other two numbers are just like where it is. So 2020 should be up here, top left. All right, and with that, we have officially made a Technically a full game. It has a goal, you eat pellets, and you get a score. Um, and you win by setting arbitrary numbers for yourself. So you have to eat 10,000 pellets and you win. Are we making a Walmart version of uh, snake.io? It is, yes. <laughs> um, oh, this mm -hmm. is Levenmore, this is Dollar Snake. Store. This is um, old antique shop version. All right, okay, so that is the main thing for this class. Um, I'll put the code in chat. Um, and tomorrow, not tomorrow, next week, we are going to learn how to make your body bigger as your score gets bigger. That can be a tougher one to do, but hopefully we can do it. And that will be class today. Um, so officially class is over. I'll be here for a bit longer for anyone who needs any help. I can't do anything What's and wrong? I can't okay. share or paste it in chat because, yeah. well, Goodbye. there's a problem. Goodbye. Teacher. Um, was it Teacher. Well, Teacher. Well, mine can't Bye, run. Teacher. I can't do anything. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, oh, sorry. You can Bye, take Teacher. Um, JP, um, was it working earlier? At what point did it stop working? I finished the entire class already. I, I, I'm, I made the class done. I finished the class now, but I have one problem that I can't run the gray box. It's not there. Hmm. Okay. Um, since you can't send it to me, you're going to have to send it in Facebook. Um, and then I will look at it probably even tonight. So yeah, in like 10 or so minutes, I'll find it and then I'll tell you what you can do. All right, anyone else? Um, I'm good, I have some problem. All right, Bindi, your code looks good. Um, go ahead. If you can share a screen or paste your code in chat, chat. Huh. Oh, okay, I see the problem. I'm gonna scroll up a bit. Line 30, line 30, you need to add at the very end there a zero to make it 400 and a semicolon. Huh. Oh, and the food isn't there either. Um, could you scroll down, Tad? Oh, uh, wait, 
you can try and delete the score because for some reason when I this uh when I put in the score plus plus it just breaks my entire code. Try and delete the score. Uh, I want to see if. Oh, it works. for that, you, it may be that you don't have a semicolon at the end of score plus plus. I have a semicolon, and it okay. it just makes it so the entire run just freezes. Huh. Um, if you can, please your code in chat and try to see why. Oh, I actually see a problem. Um, then scroll up a bit. Your for your lips in food. Um, there we go. On line twenty five, there should be an I in the lips. E L L I P F E. So an I rather the L. So E L L I P F E. That should be the problem. There you go. Good job. Oh, can you see mine? Um, I can't see yours right now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Hmm. That all looks correct. Huh. Um, can you go to your index of HTML? Bye, I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Um, uh, whoever is on right now, that's put it for I see a problem. Um, your index isn't the correct index. It should be a bit at the very end there. Um, oh, and person whose name is uh, question mark, your code looks good. Um, okay. If you see here, I'm gonna share my screen real quick with porn. Um, all right. If you see here, your um, HTML starts off with this like, um, you know, script, um, FRC, script, JS stuff. Um, go ahead and delete all that, all, everything on line 13, delete the entire thing. Everything on line 13. And then go in chat. I'm going to paste some code here. That is the code. Oh, see, is hitting poetry. All right. There we go. You can copy that code and then paste it where line 13 was. That should set up processing JS for you and you should be good. All right, anyone else? Oh, Ooh. oh man, you even commented your uh, functions. Good job, nice. I was gonna talk about that, but I will next time. Good job. So, uh, thank you. Uh, so right here, I have to put in a score plus plus. Oh, yes. Uh, oops. Score plus plus semicolon, and then right here, it's text score text score um twenty twenty right. Yes. Um, the main thing is that one um online twenty seven um there's only one R in score S C O R E. Um, you have to take out oh, the first R oops. there. And if you oh. scroll up, yeah. um, you need me a score variable first. So after let oh. food Y, just go ahead and go let and then score equal zero. I forgot. Mm. There you go. Good job. Let me see if it works. Probably the for for some reason it, uh the the red dot only Ooh. like it's like um, that's on because one. on line 30, you should have food Y there. Now we have food X and food Y. You're randomizing oh. both therefore. Whoops. Whoops. Make sure you do a capital Y. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Good job. All right. Great job, everyone. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh, JP. Yep. Oh, Cuphead. All right. Oh, wow, I feel a Oh, that's interesting, huh? I never thought of that. A, 
a lion snake. That's kind of cool. Teacher, right. I need to... Uh, I am very... I don't know what to do. Uh, there's a bit broken. All right. Yeah, um, not a bit. I, I, the entire gray box is gone. I write down you, everything except the gray box is gone. All right. Um, if you post it on Facebook, I will come and figure it out. Um, Peace out. I need to go. Bye bye. All right. Goodbye. And yeah, class is officially over. To anyone else? Yeah, I can. Uh, teacher, don't forget to like. Uh, bye bye, like, teacher. Yeah. See you next week. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you, oh, teacher. All right. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. And yeah, make sure to post the recording. Bye.